And I'm Zach. And we're traveling A to Z. This week we're in Western Ireland. We're currently in West Ireland and we're making our way up north. We're in the countryside outside of Sligo. This area is special because it has the mountain called Ben Bulbin. This mountain is Ireland's only tabletop mountain, which means it's flat on top. It's 526 meters tall. Today, we're going to go explore a real working sheep farm. So the first thing we did is learn about the different types of sheep. First sheep we learned about were Jacob sheep. Jacob sheep are black and white, and they could have two to six horns. They were the first known sheep in the world. They've actually had pictures in the Bible, so they predated the Bible. This is Swartz black sheep that came from Holland, and it was originally used as a milking sheep. Now people don't usually consume sheep milk, so it's not used much. This tiny sheep is a soy sheep that was bred from Scotland. They're bred to be small so they could go up the steep cliffs. They're unusual because they can live entirely on seaweed if they need to. The sheep you also don't shear. Their wool falls off approximately once a year and the birds actually will pick it off and use it for their nests. The most common sheep you see when driving around Ireland is the Scottish Mountain Black Face Sheep. This is the sheep we're going to see that Mo, the border collie, is going to go and herd. Any lamb can be born with either black wool or white wool. The white wool is extremely strong, but the black wool just falls apart. The saying, one black sheep from the flock, comes from the fact if you take a little piece of black wool and put it in a bag of white wool, the white wool would get destroyed because of the chemicals affecting it from the black. My name is Martin Feeney, and I really hope you all enjoy your little visit with us here this morning. So I'm going to try and show you how we move the sheep around, obviously on a much smaller scale. You can see two little sets of gates down the bottom of the field here, one on the right and one on the left. I'm going to attempt to move this group of sheep down through one set of those gates, across the bottom of the field, and back up through the other set, just with the sounds you've heard. Okay. The first thing a farmer does when they get a border collie is to try to teach it right from left. They do this at a young age. Mo, the border collie that's working here, is about two years of age. Mo responds to its owner and just its owner with specific different sounds. If they have more border collies, they each have different sounds that they respond to so they can bring the sheep to the owners. This is especially important if the sheep are on the mountain, like the tabletop mountain. As you can see right now, Mo is listening to the whistle sounds and bringing the sheep through the gates. Mo is also really low to the ground and you can see she never actually barks or nips at the sheep. The sheep respond to Mo just by him looking <laughs> at them. The sheep always stay in a group and point the opposite way of where the dog is. Sheep's eyes are on the side of their heads so they can see behind them and in front of them. This is why they usually point the opposite direction. On the sheep's back, you can see a letter. This is spray painted on. There's different letters and markings and numbers, and that's how the farmers know what sheep are theirs. So when they're on the mountainside and all together, they could tell. With very minimal movement of the dog, they can let certain sheep go. And then he says this to the dog, this, and that this, means hey, I want this We're sheep. Keep watching her. This, so this, this, this continues this, to look this, at the this, group of this. sheep that are in front of her. He will say look, and then she will look at all the different sheep that could be potentially around. He then said, come by, which tells her to go get all the other sheep she finds and bring them back to him. By having Mo look, 
This allows her to look around where she is so then she doesn't have to keep going up and down the mountain and tire herself out. This saves a lot of time and energy. Watching the sheepdog work was amazing. They're so smart and talented. It was really cool to see. I hope you enjoyed our video. Join us next week as we go to the Giant's Causeway and explore more of Ireland. Please subscribe below to follow more of our adventures.